Right, exactly. That's right. So, so it's potentially much more complicated in its brain patterns and sort. We're not the first people to try to predict pain from brain activity, but it's the first time that we've been able to observe a signature pattern that works reliably across individuals. So we can test a new individual and expect to make an accurate prediction. And it's the first time we've been able to find a signature that's specific to physical pain, that doesn't respond to emotional distress or social pain. Presentation in color of the pain signature map. And this is a map of areas in which increases here in yellow and decreases in blue are predictive of how much pain a person is feeling. And we think this is a, a measure uh, that provides objective evidence related to physical pain that is coming in from the, the body, from the nerves coming up. Really, what this does is it gives us one of the potential ingredients that might be contributing to chronic pain to spontaneous pain that's created in the brain and other forms of pain. Uh, and by looking at this pattern, we can start to test different kinds of treatments and ask, well, which kinds of treatments, drugs, uh, meditation, uh, cognitive therapy, uh, distraction in various way, kinds, all of these things have been shown to reduce the pain that people report feeling. And that'll um, display whatever test or task we have for the signal from the subject's brain. Um, and then there's just the rest stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Um, the head coil portion. Across all the different conditions we've studied, there's nothing that looks more like physical pain than social pain or the pain of rejection. The colored areas show regions where increases in brain activity are indicative of more pain, and blue areas show areas where the decreases in activity are indicative of more pain. This physical pain signature that I've shown you here was sensitive to physical pain. It was, it was really good at tracking the more versus less intense stimulus from the body, but uh, it couldn't tell the difference between the rejector photo and the friend photo. So it wasn't sensitive at, sensitive at all to the social pain stimulus one in which the system is working normally and we apply pain, painful stimuli to the body.